Hey guys, today I'm doing a classic pinup makeup look with retro red matte lips. So if you're interested in how to create this super stunning yet very simple look, please stay tuned. Now first I'm going to start off with some lip balm. You want to make sure that your lips are super moisturized and I always put that on so it has time to sink in. Here I'm using my regular foundation combination. If you're new around here, I'll put it down in the description box for you. But the difference in this video is that I'm using a Real Techniques stippling brush, which is really good for this kind of look because I'm wanting a heavy coverage. I'm wanting a pretty thick base and full coverage on my face so that there are no flaws. After that, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. I use the lightest color that they have because I like to double double use it as a highlighter as well. But I'm just doing the regular triangle technique underneath my eyes, right over on the top of my lips, on the bridge of the nose, and in the kind of Christmas tree-ish shape on the top of my forehead, just to highlight all those center areas of the face to bring a little bit more light. And then next I'm gonna go in with that same brush I was using before, the Real Technique Stippling Brush, instead of my Beauty Blender, because again, I want this super heavy coverage. I want the absolute most flawless complexion that I can have. And I'm just going around the outside edges, as you can see, I'm not really taking it into the middle as much. And just blending out every single area that we had. And I noticed that I probably added a little bit too much product, so I took a clean tissue and just kind of dotted my face in blotted off the extra product that was on there unnecessarily. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. If you haven't seen my eyebrow video, I will link that down below. It goes into a lot more detail, but you can kind of get the gist of what I do here. And then of course I'm setting my foundation and concealer. It's very important when you're having matte red lips to also have kind of a matte-ish face. You don't want a super dewy face. At least that's not the kind of look that I'm going for today. Then I'm contouring. I have a contour video as well. I will also link that down below. That again goes into a lot more detail, but right here I'm just kind of showing you the basic areas that I contoured. I then followed up my contour with my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette, which I'm completely obsessed with. It was one of the best makeup purchases I've done. It was so inexpensive and I use it almost every day. It is, oh, it's amazing. But I'm using the lightest of the kind of peachy shades and then I'm gonna go in with a really light pink shade because although you do wanna have a very perfect kind of clean complexion, you want to add a little bit of color to your face so that you don't look dead. <laughs> And now I'm going in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is going to add a beautiful canvas to your eyelids. It's going to even out any discoloration you may have and just give you a nice clean base to add your colors so that the simpleness of the look really shines through. And then I went over my Paint Pot with Max Shroom. And I did this just to add another kind of layer of protection almost, just to kind of set the soft ochre and also to add another layer of that clean slate that I was looking for. And then I went in with Bamboo, also from MAC, just in the crease, just to add a little bit of kind of a shadow almost so that my eye wasn't completely flat, completely one dimensional. I wanted the crease to stand out a little bit. So I just lightly put that in the crease and blended it out. The final color that we're going in with is MAC Floof, and I'm putting that in the corners of my eye and kind of bringing it down underneath the lash line just a smidge just to bring a little bit more light to the center of my eyes and the center of my face. Then I'm also putting it in the center of my eyelids, and that is just going to kind of create more of a rounded, protruding almost shape just to kind of make them a little bit more doe-eyed. And then I'm putting it underneath the brow bone and that just helps lift my eye a little bit more and make me seem more awake. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and my MAC 226, I think is the one. It's just the slanted liner brush. And it's the only brush that I can use to do my liner correctly, my cat eye liner. And I have a full tutorial coming very soon on how to do a cat eye, but this you can kind of very quickly and very um, surfacely <laughs> follow along and see how I basically create my cat eye liner. The trick is just going slow with lots of little dashes if you couldn't tell. And now I'm curling my eyelashes because like I've said before, this is the most important part in my opinion, aside from using the actual mascara, which comes next. And I'm using waterproof mascara to make sure that my eyelashes stay curled, followed by two different mascaras with two different formulas just for lengthening, defining, and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm wiping off the extra 
balm that I have left over my lips. My lips are still moisturized, but not near as kind of greasy and slippery. I'm just using a liner I had laying around. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Liner, and I'll find the color and put it down below. But I outline the bottom of my lip first just because that's simplest for me, and then I go and make an X shape right under my cupid's bow because you really want to make sure that your cupid's bow is very defined with red lips, just so it kind of gives you the illusion of those perfect pinup lips. And then I outline the edges, bring it into the X, making sure to do that peak. And then I lightly fill it in, and this isn't for any other purpose rather than it just helps your lipstick stay on quite a bit longer. I'm following that up with the Revlon Color Matte Balm Stick, whatever these are called. I am using the color Striking, which is in the matte collection. I'm not a huge fan of shiny red lips, so the matte works perfect for me. I love this formula. It is not drying but it also stays matte, which is super impressive, and I love this. And as you can see, I just go along the outline of it, and it's incredibly easy since it is in the crayonish shape. I also follow that up with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, which when I first used it, I wasn't a fan, and then I absolutely fell in love with it. This is in the color Beso, and it starts out as this really shiny, liquidy, very scary, honestly, lipstick, and then it dries to the most beautiful blue-red that makes your lips look so white. I, I, It is the perfect retro matte red, and I suggest it to anybody that loves the pinup look. But after that, do a little zhuzhing of your hair, and you are ready to go. I love this look because it is so effortless. You don't have to put a lot of work into it or time, but you look so stunning and timeless and just exquisite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye.